the Vector Design Suite team is excited to present some great new functionality in the area of assets. This video demonstrates the new Copy and Edit Asset feature. Locate the asset in the browser, right click and select Copy. Select a library location and give it a new name. Note that this is the name displayed in the asset browser and the part file name. Also take note you can only save assets in the user asset folder or your project libraries with the correct permissions. You cannot save new assets in the system assets folder. Once you have done this, you can change the asset in the new asset editor environment. This all happens right in the asset browser from the right click menu. Make sure when you're editing your asset, you stay within the asset editor environment. While in the Asset Editor, select the 3D Model tab to make changes to the asset. In this demonstration, we're simply adding a screen to the front of this cabinet. When you're done, select the Asset Editor tab again and select Save to put the changes back into the library. By selecting the Save button, this publishes the asset you are editing and when complete, is now available for use. This feature adds a whole new dimension of flexibility. Be sure to watch the other videos that discuss assets. There are many new ways to build, edit, and use your asset library in this release.